like we were saying before, if you have anterior, if you guys, if you're having anterior pinching pain with the with hip flexion, we went ahead and we checked his ability, or we checked by isometrically activating his rectus morus whether or not he would get rid of that pinch. Okay. Now, the other thing that we have to consider in these situations is this: if when you're checking the ranges of motion of a joint, or when you're putting the joint through the ranges, what you want to find in most cases is that the rate limiting enzyme for movement of the joint, you want it to be the muscles on the opening side of the joint. So for example, if I take his hip and I come around this way, when I ask him what is preventing me from going any farther, you usually want to him to tell you that it's these muscles on this side of the joint. But this is not an assumption that we can make. I know we want to assume that, but it's not always the case. Many times you bring the person into that abduction and, and uh, this kind of in this position here, and you ask, what is the rate limiting enzyme preventing me from getting that knee further? If they tell you it's this, that's a normal joint. That's normally what's supposed to happen. But oftentimes they're going to tell you they feel a pinch on the other side. If you find a pinch on the closing side of the joint, the joint is not functioning properly. Okay. In this case, if I bring him into flexion and I have a pinch on the closing side of the joint, which I do, oftentimes you want to check not the area of the pinch, but you want to check the contralateral side of the joint. Okay. Why is that why is that the case? Because if you think of a joint, if you look at my fist here, if you think of the joint motion, when a joint's moving, it usually will not have any compressive forces. It's just going to go through the motion um, without actually touching any joint surfaces. Now, if I try to go that way, but that undersurface of the joint capsule is tight, when I engage that undersurface and I can't go any farther, I'm going to pinch on the opposite side because it's not allowing that opening up on the bottom. So oftentimes, if you're moving a joint through a range of motion, if you get a pinching on the closing angle of the joint, you oftentimes want to look at the contralateral aspect of the joint as the rate limiting enzyme that's preventing or that's causing that pinch to occur. So we want to look at how well his joint motion is on the other side of the joint. Now, a very rough um, way to assess this is by bringing the person to external rotation. Okay. His internal rotation is actually also restricted. So if I go into internal rotation, you start to see the whole pelvis rise, right? So he has a fake amount of internal rotation. That's not pure internal rotation. If it was pure internal rotation, I would be able to very easily move him into this direction. Nothing would move. He has good internal rotation. But with him, internal rotation causes, you can see the hip start to come up. Okay, so he has a blocked amount of internal rotation. Rotary tests are usually are the best way to assess capsule. So when I'm assessing this rotation, it's showing me that his capsule is restricted. If I come into external rotation, that's what we have. Now, someone with good external rotation, we're, we're looking at the ability to bring that foot all the way up and in. Good external rotation, bad external rotation. <laughs> okay. So this is telling me that he has a capsular issue there's stiffness within the capsule. So for his case, if that rectus femoris test didn't work, I would go ahead and begin to mobilize or treat the capsule going in the opposite direction to allow us to not get that pinch. So I'd be moving him posterior to inferior, I would pull him down this way. And that's the type of mobilization work I would do to open it up, and then I would check for the, that again and to see if I can get rid of that pinching pain. Would you add internal and external rotation? I would if I felt, exactly, if I felt that that was an area of tension, then I would. So I would be mobilizing this way, this way, that way, in different, in different ways, in order to open up that capsule, okay? In order to open up that movement so that we avoid the pinch.